Hey there, I'm Jerry Fleming. I'm Grant Petraga. And this is Ser the Vino. So this is uh, wine number 14 for us today. Uh, it's our Baronia. Um, we uh, heard great things about this uh, from last year and got to try a glass of it at uh, Cafe Cantab Cantabria. Uh, there's a local restaurant around here uh, that our teacher had taken us to. Was it uh, Professor Tomas? And if you're watching, <laughs> Tomas. You're the Remember. man, Tomas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, before we get too into it, we should, uh, of course, promote. So uh, uh, be sure to follow our Instagram at Sarah Divino, and uh, follow, obviously, on Facebook. It's probably where you're getting these videos, but Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Sarah Divino. Yeah, that's where you want to follow. And what is it called? We also like to thank Santander Central Hostel for hosting us. Um, thank you for being a nice hostel and letting us make these videos. Yes. Um, so let's uh, get into the flavor profiles, right? Yeah, definitely. All right, so it's a uh, 2011 uh, Baronia uh, wine, uh, red, obviously, and uh, it's actually the youngest one we've tasted so far on the trip. Most of them, I think, the youngest one we've had before was like maybe a 2015 or. 14. I think it might have been a 14. Yeah. But yeah, definitely 2011 is the youngest. A uh, reserve. Again, we've got we've gone over what reserve means. So. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. means nothing. Yeah, take it with a grain they, of salt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, was it for this one, uh, the actually aging process works a little differently, uh, similar to like a Crianza. Uh, they actually age in oak barrels for our French and our American oak barrels. Um, and for 18, 18 months? months? Yeah, 18 months, I believe. And then in the bottle for 20 months. Correct. So an extremely long aging process for a, for a fairly inexpensive bottle of wine. Very mature grape, that thing can buy you booze for sure. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> and what is it, uh, so we're just gonna uh, just get into it, I guess. Uh, we haven't started pouring. Oh, oh you yeah, Venturi. Thank you, Venturi. I'd like to give you a shout out as well. You have been making our wine taste nice and fresh since day one of this trip. Thank you. Yes. Wouldn't be able to do it without you. That 30 minutes is a little bit of a wait. Oh my god. I'm not right. a page, patient person. <laughs> If you want to taste two wines or two bottles of wine a day, 30 minutes is not enough time for you. Oh, yeah. Gosh. All right. And thank you. So, uh, this is a Spanish wine uh, from the Rioja region? Yeah, Roja. Roja region. Uh, similar to a lot of the Spanish wines that we've tried so far. What was, do you remember the other one that we had? Um, it was in the Galician area of Spain. Oh, shit. Probably don't remember it. The region specifically. I could look it up real quick. Give me one second. Um, but Baronia white Spanish wine of the Rueda region. Rueda region. That yes, was so it. Yeah. That was quite delicious too. Um, Absolutely. That was a white Baronia actually. So we actually get to compare our uh, red one now. That red one was actually the one that we preferred our first time trying, and the white one I just accidentally bought because I saw Baroni and I was like, got a little too excited. Yeah. <laughs> Picked it up and I was in line. I was like, oh my god, this is this is white. <laughs> like, yeah. But it's, it's a good mistake. I, I yeah. is personally my favorite white wine, so yeah. definitely a good idea. But okay, so let's look at the look at the wine a little bit. The legs do not seem too substantial. All right, as you notice, we have some good glasses again. Thank you, Santander Hostel. I think that's mostly what we want to thank you for, mm. the great glasses. And yeah, I just getting a little bit of sugar, but... There's something, but not too much. Yeah, it's pretty thin. Uh, actually, I think it's so thick that it just sticks. Also, it could be the yeah. exact opposite. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it has... Yeah. I think it does have, it has quite a significant Ooh. amount, it looks like, actually. Uh, it's just, <laughs> like, very deceptive. Yeah. Um, so, the, the, yeah, as you can see, obviously, um, with the oak wine barrels, or, yeah, the French Amer American oak barrels that they say they use in them, um, it has a little bit of uh, brown yeah, around brown the edges. Hue. That's, like, a, that's definitely a good telltale uh, for non-wine drinkers if you're drinking. Uh, just look at the edges, look at color. Look at, uh, what is it, texture, or uh, sugar. You can tell a lot about wine just by looking at it. You don't have to be an mm -hmm. expert in tasting. Based off exactly. facts. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you could be a wine reviewer. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's get a, get a nice, nice check of the aroma. You know, I'm getting like, like a blackberry or dark cherry in the smell. Yeah, I can totally get that. Hmm. And like a tangy herbal almost like maybe a little like dark chocolate yeah possibly 
Very subtle licorice though. It smells, it's nice though. That's what I it is. enjoy it. Yeah. Mm. I'll give it a little sip. Let's go. Cheers. Chin chin. Mm. That's as good as I remember. Oh my goodness. Definitely cherries. Mm. Definitely like a, a red cherry. Yeah. Like red cherry. Like, mm -hmm. It's like that sweet, you know, like, I don't know. I, I compare it to by everyone, a Jolly Rancher. A cherry Jolly Rancher. Except it has like not that sugary. Yeah. Like, yeah, that exactly. Tartness. Yeah, like a subtle Jolly Rancher taste. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but Jolly Ranchers were good. There you go. Mm -hmm. So this is, ooh. Yeah, and like the sugar in there. Just goes perfectly with it. Mm, the acidity is kind of it's kind of high. Yeah, so I'm noticing a good amount of it. Yeah, we did just open this about uh, like two minutes ago. So, mm -hmm. but we have the venturi, but of yeah. course, the two minutes is not yeah. not a lot of time to breathe. Yeah, this is like accelerated version of getting those sulfites out and everything like that. Yeah, so, so it's really not it's not a, entirely uh, similar to letting it air out, but still. Yeah. It's good enough for difference. our purposes. Exactly for the, for the casual wine drinker doesn't want to wait 30 minutes. Cool. That's very good though. Yeah. Well, I can definitely. Oh, this would go great with like something savory, like uh, some meaty savory. So we may not have meat, but you we know have what we got. <laughs> Here you go. Famous cheese. It's Jesus. When are you gonna sponsor us? Yes. <laughs> Jesus and Venturi. Oh my gosh. Right. Just without even taking a sip after. The saltiness kind of goes with it. Yeah, this, this definitely stays with you, the flavor. It's mm -hmm. Yeah, very long lasting. Yeah, it's but from sip to sip, it's, it's there. Like, you, I can definitely see myself sipping this for a long period of time. It's just, yeah, the flavor just doesn't go away. And you don't want to wash it out, honestly. Mm -hmm. I feel like it'd be like a while to get through this bottle. Mm -hmm. Makes a nice like one to enjoy. Exactly. Really take your time between sips, personally. At least. I think we're gonna hold on to this one for quite some time then honestly. Yeah. It's gonna be uh, over the next day or two. Mm -hmm. Yep. So uh yeah, I believe I can't think of anything else we can uh um, say. Oh what would oh, we, we can talk about, about yeah, we can talk about the the descriptions and oh, stuff. Yeah. This old Yeah, I mean like what you were talking about, like a nice meat would go well with it. Well let's see on the bottle here it says that it has an intense flavor of black fruits, licorice, chocolate, and cloves with a touch of minerality. So I can kind of see where they're coming from there with the, with the black cherries. Or something like that. Yeah. I, it's yeah. like a red cherry flavor I'm getting though. Yeah, uh, licorice and chocolate, I, I'm, I didn't really pick that up personally. It has a weird like tangy herb smell for me, so I, I'm picking up the licorice a little bit. Yeah, because, yeah, I guess you could. And I think I, we have to let it rest and then the chocolate part might come out. But like that, like we said, like it, we just opened it, so this is a uh, first impressions. We mm -hmm. like to give everyone our first impression. Like as soon as we drink it, mm -hmm. we uh, want everyone to have that same feeling. And like mm -hmm. what you're going to be tasting is what we're tasting. We don't want to differentiate or you know create some different standard. This is yeah, exactly. This is true as we can be. Where mm -hmm. <laughs> this is for the casual wine drinker, someone who's not super into it. You know, so wants to enjoy a good glass, see what it pairs with. Besides cheeses. Yes. Uh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> So this is uh, actually uh, award-winning wine. Um, before we even bought it and we were new, it was good. It says International Trophy Wine Winner. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little far away. I have no idea what kind of a award system or ranking they do, but it must be good, right? Mm -hmm. So, and it's also Absolutely. reserve wine too, so like, yeah. I think that's I mean, what did it for us. Exactly. And, uh, but definitely, definitely one of my favorites. I wouldn't say it was. it is my favorite, but one of my favorites. It's up there. I think number eight, which was Don Martino. Personally, it'd be the ca 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 Castel de ca ah. Cabildo. Cabildo. Yes, yes. Yeah, it was a house wine, unfortunately, so I can't really get that anywhere else. But uh, that was personally my favorite. Yeah, we're going to have to find more house wines before we're done with this journey. Oh, absolutely. But, um, I think that about does it. So, yeah. yeah, be sure to follow us on Instagram again at Sarah Divino, and uh, stay tuned with our journey. So. Cheers.